Oh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video is brought to you by newcubio.com. So that's our website. Uh, it's our Cubio blog. We have great Cubio uh, uh, articles and uh, and free uh, video tutorials. So you may want to uh, check it out. It'll help you. Okay. In this video, I'm going to talk about to handle how to handle one credit card payment that applies to sub accounts in Cubio. So it's basically. Uh, you have uh, several uh, credit cards and it's set up as sub accounts and when a bank makes the payment or you, you do the payment uh, it goes to one uh, uh, parent account uh, but doesn't apply to uh, sub accounts so when you look at the chart of accounts you will see one parent account with negative balance but doesn't apply to uh, uh, to sub accounts so so how to handle that this is the focus of this video or right, I'm gonna go to QuickBooks online now so I'm gonna show you first the chart of accounts okay in this case uh, you have a parent account and then you have two sub accounts so when you make the payment it goes to your parent account and it doesn't apply to uh, sub account so that always this is it will show the balance in here all right, so when you look at the chart of accounts, you'll see this, this is supposed to be a uh, negative 12,000. So this uh, chart of accounts is goofy. Uh, so, you know, you, you may ignore that or just treat this as negative. So if you run the report, you will see it. Uh, run the report in here under uh, this uh, drop down, run report, you will see it, uh, a negative amount in here. See, so it's a negative amount, right? And since this is the parent account, you will see all transactions from uh, parent uh, sub accounts as well as the uh, the parent account. Okay, but uh, uh, if you if you write uh, uh, to sub account, you won't see uh, any transactions from the parent account. So it's just. Uh, uh, you know, this is this is the roll off of all sub accounts of parents. That's why it's you seeing these these all these transactions. Okay, uh, oops, chart of accounts. Let's go to chart of accounts again. So even if you click the view register, you you won't see the negative uh, twelve thousand. It's still showing a positive in here. Okay. Uh, so just think of this as negative. This is a little goofy at this moment. Okay, so uh, let's look at the uh, the balance sheet in here. Okay, so uh, the situation is normally the situation is something like this. So you have credit card, parent, sub account, and sub two. And when you buy it, when you make purchase using credit cards, it goes to sub account. Okay, and the total comes to twelve thousand dollars. In this case, uh, you make the payment full payment uh, next month. So you buy in one month, last month, and you make the payment next month. Okay, so uh, right now it's showing negative 12,000 and then 10,000 and then uh, 35,000. Let's refresh this, just in case I have recorded any new transactions in here. Okay, so 10,000, 14,000, okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, so what this tells you is uh, uh, you know first of all you made full payment uh, you know you you, you purchase uh, in February and then you made payment in Mars so this that's what it is and then you added more expenses uh, in Mars so it's basically 5,000 5,000 combined is 10,000 this is the balance it's a combined one so 7,000 you bought 7,000 uh, in February and seven thousand in uh, in Mars. That's how you got to fourteen thousand dollars. So how do you handle this twelve thousand dollars? So it should apply to these two. Okay. So that's the focus. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. When you make the payment, click that one. All right. You'll you'll see it. So normally. Uh, when you make the payment, you use you, to, you will use the transfer. So in transfer, there's no way to uh, split uh, to uh, two different accounts. So you want to apply this twelve thousand to two uh, two accounts, basically sub accounts. 
and there's no way to do it so what you need to do is uh, you will need to treat this as expense item so when you fill out the expense let's look at another one in here okay so in here so this is the transfer one so in transfer you can't uh, uh, split uh, uh, payment to goes to two sub accounts so you need to use the expense form and when you, do, when you use the expense form it's basically you just select the, uh, the vendor in this case let's say Chase credit card payment right and you need to select of course the, you're making the payment from the checking account mm -hmm. okay and in this case you need to select uh, your sub accounts from your from your credit card account this is the sub account the credit card type so this is all credit card type like this and like this and it's the amount is five thousand and seven thousand and seven thousand okay and uh, let's just fix the date in here I think it was 21 I think I see it here okay so payment date was 20, 20 21 okay so this is how you need to do it uh, rather than the transfer type okay so let's say make this make this uh, transaction so I'm just going to record this okay so just remember that let's see if we can okay so this is the sub one five thousand sub two seven thousand and the payee is a credit card company and it comes out from all this comes out from of course your banking account okay I'm gonna save this now you have a duplicate one so let's just refresh this okay so now you don't need this one so you already applied this so let's look at it here balance it again okay so you already applied it so this is from the current month and you already applied it, so this is duplicate so you don't need this one I'm going to delete that one okay so I'm going to delete this okay so as you can see here uh, this is from the account quick report this is from your chart of account you can see it I'm just going to go back and show you the, the uh, chart of accounts here quick report in here okay so underneath you will see run report okay as you can see here uh, so you you, you purchase uh, uh, 5,000 in February and you purchase uh, 5,000 in March and you made a payment of 5,000 and applied against each uh, February purchase so same thing with in here right and you still owe $12,000 uh, uh, for purchases in March and next month the uh, same thing happens uh, and in case uh, you make the uh, you don't make the full payment then you just have to split it uh, uh, somehow you come out with a percentage like uh, that you made twelve thousand dollar payment so that's like five thousand like uh, let's see uh, forty two percent and and uh, and the other one is uh, uh, fifty eight percent of seven thousand right so you just need to split it come up with a percentage and apply against the uh, uh, the purchases okay that, then you will have a running balance there okay so what if uh, you use uh, banking in here so I'm just going to banking here uh, okay so in banking uh, you, you, you know you made a $12,000 payment and it will treat also treat as a, a transfer if you click it here normally you will see it in here like record and in here there's no way to split it right so it will just say 
normally you'll just use a transfer account and it goes to your credit card payment it was something like this in here so record transfer from your checking account and you're making payment to uh, your credit card parent that's how it uh, works and there's no way to split it in here so what you need to do is if if it's uh, recorded uh, as transfer you need, you need to change this radio button to add so in this case add and then you can select uh, your pay in this case pay and then you have to uh, split in here so this is just one account you don't want the parent one so you need to select split and then just select uh, let's see here and then select a sub account in a sub account and uh, another sub account in here see sub account one two you can't see all this but if you click it here you will see sub one and the next one is sub two and uh, well in this case I have a class you may not have that that's okay and forget about the uh, customer so it's basically five thousand and seven thousand like this so the difference is zero original amount twelve thousand and you split with like this five thousand seven thousand right okay so this uh, then you just save and add and then it will uh, post to these two sub accounts since I've already uh, manually added I don't need to add this uh, because it will create a duplicate uh, transaction so adding means duplicate it's already matched in here so okay so that's uh, this is uh, how uh, you need to do it okay All right, so that's the focus of this video. Hopefully this video is helpful to you. And uh, we have all kinds of free video tutorials. You to check it out uh, and subscribe to our YouTube channels. We have two channels, youtube.com forward slash VP controller. And the other one is youtube.com forward slash QuickBooks Kibio, the one you're watching. Thank you, bye.